Hello everyone, it's Daryl, and we're here in Lapeer, Michigan today on Farnsworth Road to check out a place that's well known here in the Lapeer area, but not a lot is known about it by most people. There's a lot of rumors and legends, and people don't really know the story behind it. So we're going to get the story here, courtesy of some internet research I did, a Facebook page called Holly's History Files, who has a lot of great information about Lapeer County history, and the Lapeer County Press newspaper article written by Crystal Johns a couple years ago, a great local writer who researched this and even talked to the relatives of the people who originally owned this farm. Um, there was actually a farmhouse right behind where this tree would be at one point, where people lived, and then the building itself that causes the most intrigue among people is right here. Oh, that's a good picture there, isn't it? And the sun like that coming through. And you see the big, like, metal beam out front, and people go by here, and they seem to think that it's some sort of slaughterhouse or meat packing place or tannery of some sort, but in fact, this was a dairy farm. The name would go along with that kind of perceived idea about what it was. The name of the dairy farm was Agony Acres because the owner said farming was such hard work. That was the, actually the largest dairy farm in Lapeer County. And they had multiple buildings back here and a residential house where people lived in, um, a complete dairy farming operation, pasture and grazing areas, several hundred acres of property. It ended up closing down, I believe, in the late 80s and it's set empty ever since. And it's got a no trespassing sign, so you really shouldn't go back in there poking around too much, which I haven't done um, yet. And there's uh, really not much grim or gruesome about it. There's really not much to say other than it's an old farm and a, a lot of urban legends. Probably if you went inside, there'd probably be some evidence of trespassing and stuff, but I haven't been in there to see. So here it is. I'm going to show an overhead view of what the land looks like now on a satellite view. Plus, I've got an overhead view to post of what it used to look like years ago when it was in operation, as well as some old family photos I got from the County Press website showing pictures of it from quite a few years ago when it was in operation also. Well, thanks for sharing this little bit of Lapeer County history with me. Check out my other videos on my channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.